So he said at the end of verse hey, as follows: the my love Hashem's revelation described as uh, is that it reveals Him, and that's the my love of Koyach, which is a revelation of Hashem, where His behelim is concealed. But the Maila of that which the Ebishter reveals in a concealed way, and he defines what that is at the end of Isaiah, namely Malchus Datsilus. Malchus Datsilus is the final creative word of God that brings creation into being. And then in the end of the Isaiah, he said, it's really true of, of everything post Simpson audition which therefore includes even Adam Kadman, that's all after the Helen. Tzimtzum Barishin is the first great Helen, notwithstanding the Kavan that penetrates it. It's still a great Helen, so that's all included in the category of Koyach, because it comes by Helen, as opposed to the Eir in Sof Lifni HaTzimtzum. So the Maile, however, of the Eir that comes in the way of Helen and Koyach, most specifically in Mach that Silas is, what? That Machos Datsilus is the means by which the Ebishter creates in the way of his Hachos. Yesh Ma'ayin. There's no Yesh Ma'ayin before the Tzimtzum. There's nothing novel. It's post Tzimtzum where the Yesh Ma'ayin emerges. Now, we went into this a little bit and we want go into it again, there's the difference between the Yashmayin of the Dovar Gashmi, that's the embassy Yashmayin, the Koyach Atzmos directly in the most raw way, as it were, but the same is true, relatively speaking, of all of the Yeshus and all of its levels that emerge post symptom. Because at the end of the day, to have a Yesh is contrary to the embassy. Impossible and only because of At any rate, so that's in summary. We have to the mila. There's a mila in both, and the end will be a remimcha lekai hamelech lekai conveys both. And we'll see what that means. Although he already said so, he's just elaborating, and explaining the mila. And I'll have to say it now because we're going to get lost in the whole beard. We've said it already. We'll say it again. What's the mila of both? What's the end, the beer that Alekai conveys both Koyach, which draws on the Etzim, and comes Behelem, and comes in way of Hefsek, Tzimtzum. Machus Datzilus, as, as a creator, as the word of God, is an, after another Tzimtzum. That's the parasy between Atzilus and Bia. In the end of those, he said it's really true of everything post the Tzimtzum Arishan. You just bring out that Machut Atzilus is the sign from being post Tzimtzum Arishan. There's another Tzimtzum between Atzilus and, and Malchus, between all of Atzilus, Bachlal, and Malchus. There's a parsa, like a word. A word that is, comes out separate from a person. So, what's the end, the end beard? The end beer, the fusion of the two is, as he started saying, that oil, which would convey more, I may put it like this, which would naturally convey more, also conveys atmos, which is in, expressed where in Koyach, and that's revealed. Is that clear? That is the formula, the whole mimer, that the fusion that the Lekai carries both Pirushim. A Lekai Likus is Galus. A Lekai Koyach Hashem expressing himself in a concealed way, which is a deeper expression of him because it draws on the Etzem. The two together is the Etzem Begoloi, which he said at the outset of the mind, but the Oy reveals not only Moed, but Atmos. But that's to be unlocked through Avaida. That's through our Avaida. That is really the formula of the Maimon. Everything is exquisite detail. Let's explain this. Is that clear? Gentlemen, I need some feedback. Huh?
So the or the or component reveals less than the kayak component. Ostensibly, the Kiddush is it does not. It does reveal and carry atmos. That's why, again, say that here's the formula. If you just remember this two sentences, then try and fit everything you're thinking into these two sentences, then you know you got it. Oir Bakhlal only expresses Moir. That's Bateva. Teva oir. The Khidush is that the oir reveals, carries and reveals Atmos, who is beyond revelation, and who naturally would come only Behelem, because he's totally beyond, 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 and would steam into Khal Stimin and higher than Moir and would remain forever concealed. And yet, that's the kavanda of Nisava, Kodesh Borcho, that he should be known not only as Moir, as creator, but beyond creator. So the Oir carries Koyach. That in the Koyach we see the source, Atmos, creating Yeshma'ai. Koyach, you don't see the source. Again, you see the, the, the stone sailing through the air. You don't know what propelled it when you're looking only at the Koyach. This is the fusion of Oyer and Koyach. This is seeing the Koyach and seeing the source. So the Ebishter decided, because that is the Kavond of Dir that Oyer, what should he be known? What should be revealed of him? Not just Oyer created, which is natural and that's traceable and doable, but the impossible should also be achieved. Atmos also revealed in the world. Where is Atmos expressed? In Koyach, which by definition comes Behefsek and Behelem. You can't know Atmos. You can because he wants you to and you'll be revealed. That's what Alekai means. Arimimchen, or Taich Arimimchen, the Kai Malach, he would even give all the Biyurim, the Aliyah, the Amshoche. The summary of it all is that the Abishta has decided and allowed for that he should be known not only knowably, creator, that's knowable, that's traceable, I reveals my design, points to a designer, but more than that, his, he should be revealed and we should know him, his truth, Atmos, that creates Yeshma Ayin, that be revealed, which that is fundamentally beyond the yesh. The yesh cannot go to the ayin and know the ayin that the atmos are created. It's it, it's absolutely impossible. He comes yesh in being in my ayin. He has no shaykhs to, to the source that produces him ex nihilo. It's not a traceable oyer and moyer thing. And yet we will do know. Toyer is megalit that. Maybe is megalit. And yid is megalit. Megalit, what's the it? Atmos Revealed, oh, the mile of both etzem and gilui. Okay, that's the formula. Etzem bisgalus, even though the etzem definition cannot be bisgalus. Etzem built in bisgalus. If atmos would be revealed, oismetzis, they didn't move out. Can't have a, a, a yesh. It should be a yesh, it should be a tachten, and the tachten, no atmos. That's the meaning of a lekai amela that conveys both, right? That's the formula. This whole mind with Arich Sabir is all to explain that. Keep that lenegad a nechem always. What I'm understanding it is it fit into that formula, then you understand the mind. You understand what he's saying? We're clear. It's not worthy to point out over here. It's not just how uh, order. This is a new layer of depth over here of appreciation of context. So here in this whole time, we're explaining the distinction between the difference between oil on the one hand and Shem and Koyach on the other, which is Behel and Behefsek, etc. Clear? He's talking about, yeah, and the Mailin, each one. The Mailin Shem, that Shem draws on that's the Manashama, the Mailin Koyach, Koyach is Chachas Yesh Ma'ayin, right? That's the Mail of Koyach, but it's Behelim, it's Behefsek, and Oyd is Begiloy. Yeah? So, ain't the Bestir, this is not a contradiction.
It's not a contradiction. I'm a word become a mekoymes sheshem ve'oyd a minyan echad. It just did it in other places. Out of forty-eight, look at the toyd and become a mekoymes that a name and oyd is one thing. We're saying it's not at all. Oyd is megalim, shem is behelim. And moreover, in other places we see when the Medish calls refers to God's names, that same Darga, the same Indian, that same is Galus is called Oir. That's everything opposite we're saying now. The profound difference between Gilu and Helam and Hefsik and Lachara Timsum, Timsumarishan, Ak. After the Hefsek between Atsilus and Bia. Not a steer. Ki because Ma Sheshem Veoir. Who echo to that which we it's interchangeable. As we find in Medish and Zoyar, Harizer Rak Bechlolus. In the bigger picture. Why? In the big picture, the greatest revelation of the Abishtur is all the Gaba Atmos. It's uh, concealment. Given Shiklolus Hagiluyim, the greatest revelation. Why is it? Let me finish it. Gamma Oiris Hayyosin Nailim, the greatest revelations in Be'en Adoycha, incomparable Gaba Atmos. Why? As we hear here endlessly, because fundamentally the whole Indian of Gilu is saying there is an other on some level to be revealed. There is no other. Which, which is saying, I, I didn't see it explicitly, but it says somewhere. If not, this is the Kavana. The biggest, in a way, the biggest rev change, revolution, change. Abishta, period. Now, the biggest radical Chiddush, even though he says he is, he is, he is, he is, but in a way, the biggest Chiddush, like he's saying now, is, oh, you didn't so? Oh, you didn't so? Light? Revelation? Who then? But it's not like Ischachus of Yeshvain, because what is that Oyrin Sof saying? It says, <laughs> Ain Oyrin Mulvada, it's saying the truth. Whereas Ischachus Yeshvain, the Yesh says nothing, this is me. So that's more radical that way. The Yesh just doesn't even feel, and cannot feel the Koyach Yisavus. Whereas the Oyr says, Ain Oyrin Mulvada, Azok Tepes. But where is to Tzizog? So there's an oil. So there's a big fundamental Kiddush there. But it's not that you're saying, I'm saying it's not the same as each one has a, has a big Kiddush over the other. Of Yashma'ai and Mamish that's saying nothing, claiming complete title to self. But on some level, the oil is a big Kiddush because that started the whole process. This whole notion of a creation of other, it started with the whole union of oil itself. That's what he's saying now. That's what we can call Eir Hashem and Shem Eir. Because Eir is also, there's a head no Tzimtzum, true, but there's an in, Ingenit Tzimtzum, meaning to say, like, God's beyond this whole notion of revelation. The words of the Mayim again, Gamal Eir Hashem, 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 That's the point. So the biggest, the greatest revelation of Eir itself, that says, oh, but there's a sayer. It's like a name which a person's concealed, and it's behavsik and all the chesreinus. So that explains why what? Why we can call Eir Shem. Why can we call Shem Eir? Interchangeable. In summary, he's going now the, the other side of the coin. Yeah? This side of the coin we understood.
uh, guys on Zoom, you're all hiding behind anonymity. Let me pronounce it. Is who? It's here. <laughs> no, no, Chaim just clicked on. Ah, the video. So we just finished explaining that oil ain't soft can be called Shem, and it is in the Medrash. What's called in the Medrash, the Ibish's name is called in Zayar Oyer in Sof. How could that be? Based on what we said till now, there, there are different worlds, concealment, revelation. Answer, the greatest revelation is concealed. As we just explained. In the other, other, what's the other side? How can you call? How can you call uh, Shem Oir? You're calling Oir Shem. Now you can call Shem Oir. This, this there's a lifetime in this hour. This lahoyer. Uli dogi se hini mitzadze shles asar ponim inay. Since the end of the day, the emesis, there's nothing outside of him. Less asa means there's no place. Pondoi empty me nave of him. Now, why bring and bring now another lush? Because that says, so there's a place but not empty of him. I said, our place. Now, even more. Nothing but the Abishta. So, therefore, if it's all God, concealment, that's him too. Shem is also him. In other words, Kei Chagvul and Bligvul, it's all him equally. Havai Yehulikim. Chakil Agabai Ha'atzmos, because relative to the absolute truth of Atzmos, She'ein Shum Dovor Ma'ilim Umas Tilefonot, there's nothing conceals him, it's all him. Therefore, Gama Hel and Vehestar Yese Godel, the greatest concealment, the union of shame, Koyach, etc., the Gabi, the Abish, it's all him. When you shall eat of a Gilui, it's nothing other than expression of him. So, it's like Das Elian. You follow? Gentlemen. Feedback. Yeah? I guess so. That's, that's an I guess so not. You have to repeat this back to you, to the McGill student. You know, start with the mid Talmud. Actually, it's much more difficult to reach. But that's fact with the kashas. That's why, in general, it's one in you. Mitzad Atmos, Helem is him, and Giloy is Helem. Agabi Atmos, Helem is Giloy, and Giloy is Helem. Clear? That's that's the statement. From this perspective, that perspective. This consideration, that consideration. Is it clear? That was still tzach. Yeah. Shalachin therefore, ma'ashem medish nikre shem nikre bloshen azayrak makabala oir. That's what the names are interchangeable. Av beprati es yaisa. That's mit b'cholos mini mitzad the perspective of atmos in the big picture in the grand context. The grand context in ed mulvada. Therefore, concealment. Is him and revelation conceals him. It's not <laughs> doesn't define him. Revelation doesn't define him, and concealment doesn't remove him. After the Pratius, you see a bit more detail as we're speaking the Maimon now. Yes, the Minyonim Hashem Mitzad, the Maila Vahim Mitzad, the Mato. There are in Yonim Mitzad, Maila and Mato. Meaning already in the gather of Ishtal Shalos. There are those in Yon and Bukhinas Ur which reveal, which conceal, as we explained, there's Moir, and there's a Kayach Isavas, which is which comes in, in Shem and in Koyach, which draws an Atmos, as we explained. What's the whole point? Is we said, I don't know if you guys were beginning, beginning of this year, we gave the formula that you have, you have to write it down and have it in front of your eyes constantly for the whole Maimer. And everything we are learning fits into that formula. I don't know if you guys were in the beginning, but it's the first 10 minutes of this year.
Maybe I'll write it and, and, and we'll put it on. It's a small thing, a paragraph. I'll put it on the chat. Zion, yeah. Slichus isn't okay. We've got a few minutes though. So now he's coming to the fusion of the two. I, I told you what that means already. Now we're going to see the now that you have the general idea. Now we'll see it in the Maimon, the Oasis. No, who's ready to get up? I should show in the morning five o'clock and finish the Maimon. Huh? Yes. If you did that, my friend, it will not just change your life, it will change your life, I promise you. If I did, it would change my life too. Never did this, but the, for the people that did learn the Maimon a hundred times. So it's a life transforming. If we look, you see the Maimon, see the Emma the Maimon. Now, people that tried it a hundred times. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, the Rebbe Rashab told. Um, yeah, you don't understand until you start, until you learn it 16 or 17 times. Or oh, 60, or maybe 60. 60. Okay, I don't know. You heard maybe. We, we quoted the story. You see, the story is like, oh, shh, shh. I mean, this, we shared the story a while ago, a couple, a couple years ago, right? At least hazard ones. Okay, Zayin. Light is above to explain the mile of Oyer of Hashem and Koyach. Oyer reveals Hashem and Koyach is God acting in a concealed way. Yes, mile being Hashem Akechal, you know, but there's a mile in where he acts in a concealed way over where he acts in a revealed way, because in the concealed way, that's where the Isab is the creation. Yes, my lies. Clear? Yeah. Okanal, oh, that was spelled it out for us. Shemile, so it will be in Agiloi. The mile of Oid is it reveals. There's an Abish there. You can see. Open your eyes. What's the mile of Koyach Shapel in Shalis Khachus that he creates something novel? Yes, Ma'ayin. That only God can do. The artist cannot produce Yes, Ma'ayin anything. What's there? He cleverly produces a beautiful piece of art. There's no Ischachus. So you've now to explain the mile in each one. You will understand. Masha betevus elikai is based perushin. The word elikai arimimcha elikai hamelech, which is the whole avoid of Rosh Hashanah. Friends, this is the avoid of Rosh Hashanah. Is arimimcha elikai hamelech. That's the catchphrase of the Maimon. That's the avoid. So we said that the word elikai is to perushin. Loshen elikus vegam loshen koyach. It means alikus oir and also means koyach, which comes behefsek separate. The hoira is to convey sheyesh boy that that the Abishter is a, revealing to us such a giloi, which is a mile, carries both milas. Milas oishin shall giloi revelation traceable revelation. The hey milas a koyach, and he's also revealing to that the untraceable, the koyach shapoil initially is chachus that creates something novel, which means you cannot. It's novel means you can't trace it back. What shock? Yes, my What's this? How did this happen? How can there be a mitzvah? That koyach that creates shmayim that's also revealed to us. That truth, truth of atzmos revealed, even the impossible. How can we know? Atmos fundamentally beyond, be, beyond, beyond. Yeah, no, also revealed. Right? We continue with Hashem tomorrow. Yidin Slichus.